Hey everybody, Coach Dom Costa with episode number 66, Dryers and Barbecues Equal Cash. And this is goes into my Hustling for Cash Money with Metal Recycling playlist and my books that go with it. Uh, the prices have been dropping. And so I've been doing other hustles uh, to make money, but I still get you know friends and neighbors saying, hey, get my barbecue, uh, pick up my appliances that are wrecked. And so I just want to show you the usual stuff that I pick up going back and forth to work. Uh, some of it literally gets loaded onto my trucks. I've done it for a while. People are very generous about the metal they give me. And, uh, you know, I've got a collection of, you know, some steel from a, a, a metal place, a bike from a storage unit, etc. Uh, other little assorted metal pieces. And again, these appliances from friends and neighbors. That uh, metal that you see right there to the left was uh, from a company that does fabrication. They have me pick up some of their stuff. It's kind of sad though with the low prices and you'll see it. It's about three and a half cents for the good steel, two cents for the uh, tin or shred. Uh, the piles of metal aren't as high at uh, my recycling place that I always check who's got the best price. And in talking to the workers, there's no more overtime. They haven't let anyone go at this one uh, facility, but uh, there's no extra hours provided for anyone. So, though they're still getting the cars to shred up, uh, they're just the people who are bringing them in aren't getting as much money. Uh, still, though, you know what? For not much work, this is a cool twenty-seven dollars. But again, folks, about a year ago, this is a, a fifty or sixty-dollar load right there in the car. Got no beef. Twenty-seven bucks. I didn't have it. Pretty much got in there uh, almost by itself. But you know, I had to put it in there. On the way home, the same metal fabricator called me up, and I've got another big set of railings. Thank God for a sawzall. And, uh, you know, I didn't hit anything or anybody, but we did get those things put away. Nice solid steel for the next time around. It's kind of stacking the store for the next time. So, hey, get a plan. Uh, you guys can get these kind of metal hustles too, especially if you have a truck and you have a little room to store some stuff. Uh, California or your state still may have the, uh, the return uh, fees for the uh, plastic and glass bottles and aluminum cans. Still worth some money. Check out my books on Amazon. Uh, you just seen the titles there, Hustling for Cash, Money with Metal Recycling, and Same in Spanish. Every day I'm hustling. You can too. Let's get out there, make a plan, make that money, live the life you want to.